Kulbushan Jadav, a former uh, naval officer sentenced to death in Pakistan over uh, allegations of terrorism and spying, was allowed to meet uh, an Indian official for the first time today, weeks after the International Court of Justice ordered Islamabad uh, to give India consular access to him and also review his death sentence. The Pakistani security agencies had arrested Mr. Jadav on the 3rd of March 2016 and charged him with involvement in spying and subversive activities, which India has denied this completely. India has been seeking consular access to Jadav for three years and had taken up the issue of denial of consular access with the International Court of Justice, which had unanimously ruled in India's favor. Government sources say India hopes Pakistan will ensure the right atmosphere so that the meeting is free, fair, meaningful and effective in keeping with the letter and spirit of the orders of the International Court for Justice. Nidhi Razdan joins us now for more on this. Nidhi, any details coming in from Pakistan? Well, we're still waiting to know the details of just what transpired in this meeting and, and how it transpired, because that is also very important. Earlier, when Pakistan had talked about consular access to Kulbhushan Jadav, they had laid out conditions such as having uh, one of their own officials present there, which was completely unacceptable to India. Uh, but finally, today, uh, they uh, appear to have granted access without uh, those conditions in place. Uh, we'll have to see uh, what exactly the conditions were uh, and, and you know whether there was any recording of any kind. I don't think India would have accepted that in any way. Uh, but the time that was allotted to the Indian Deputy High Commissioner Gaurav Aluwalia was about two hours. And uh, this is the first time that Indian officials would have had any kind of contact with Mr. Jadhav. It has been more than three years uh, since he was uh, arrested and taken into custody and uh, tried by a so-called military court and sentenced to death in Pakistan. India has always strongly denied allegations that he was in any way uh, a spy or working for the RNAW uh, and had been sent by Indian agencies. India maintains very strongly uh, that he was a former naval officer uh, and uh, the International Court of Justice's verdict uh, that went in India's favor in July was really a shot in the arm for New Delhi on this case uh, because uh, in a 15 to 1 verdict the International Court clearly said that Pakistan had to give consular access to Mr. Jadhav and also uh, you know look at uh, l l trying this case uh, all over again so uh, that's why this is a big story today also the fact that it comes at a time when India Pakistan tensions are really very high uh, over Jammu and Kashmir uh, uh, it is also significant that the Pakistanis have at least granted this consular access uh, to Mr. Jadhav today.